Man, I don't even know how to play spades. We're playing Go Fish. Yeah, you want popcorn? Pop you want yeah, popcorn? I'll, I'll, I'll go. Popcorn. I'll go back. Please don't tell the black community. <laughs> that nigga wild in. Welcome to Bias For Us. My name is Mamadou Njai. I'm Rebecca O'Neill. I'm Yudoya Travis. And today's episode is about black emotions. And we got a special little guest for you later, but keep it locked. people are not usually allowed to express our emotions freely, our wonderful director Keisha is going to force us to emote right here for you today. Right. Sadness. Right. Shame. Fear. <laughs> Love. Confusion. Jealousy. I'm only with a knife. And the award for best acting goes to <laughs> Becca! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's an honor awesome. to be nominated, and I would just like to thank Speech. you. I would just like to thank you for giving me the D. Can you name a few other places where you've been allowed to express your emotions? Church. Probably church. Church? church. Yeah. church. You can really get loose. Yeah, you can do monkey like, people. Like, do a backflip and shake some, into somebody's arms like that. No further questions. I don't go to church, uh, so I would say mosques, but it's kind of hot for mosques in the world right uh -huh. now. So uh, I really don't think I know a spot. No, no. no I way. feel very uncomfortable fully feeling how I feel in places because I'm just like, I don't want you to misinterpret it, or you will add a level higher than I was actually going for, and then we all in trouble. Shit, uh, m miss, miss, ma'am, madam, come on, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not trying to scare, where are you, excuse me, uh, I'm not trying to scare, uh, yo, oh, 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 you're going, you're going to turn left after walking all slow like that, you're going to turn left like that, oh, man, the bodega's closed, oh, no, 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 I wasn't trying to scare you, I just wanted a bodega sandwich, just, oh, forget it, oh, man, my tummy barking like the Baja, man, you think I'm trying to chase you, oh, shit, no, <clears throat> not today, not today, uh, or, um, <clears throat> this is, all, I don't know what's worse. You know what? I gotta put her home. I gotta put her home. I'm gonna go eat this food. How you feeling? How y'all feeling today? How you feeling today, sir? I'm wet. I'm a mailman. I know. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, man. So, as black people, which emotions are we allowed to express? Okay. Weird. Um, weird. Weird. Yeah. Weird list. Uh, but okay, so if we don't have emotions we can express, what emotions can white people express? All the feelings? Um, yes. All of them. Yeah. I think. All of them? All yeah. Of them. Cool. Is it easier to make a list of things that can express? Yeah, you want to just go back to our list? Yes. No? Cool. Yep. Yeah, all right. Good. All right. Cool. <laughs> God, are you okay? Hey, it's me, Mr. D. Yeah. Almost like uh, white people are allowed to be full human folk. Mm -hmm. It's 100 percent yeah. I mean, I make myself smaller to make sure other people don't feel my emotions a lot. Do you guys do that? Oh yeah, I work in an all white, all white workplace. Yes. They can't be seeing me being uh, emotional. Yeah. They can't see me surprised. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm getting yeah. fired. <laughs> you better be ready for everything. Nothing yeah. can shock you. Ma'am, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How are you feeling today? Great, I opened my eyes, so I feel great. I'm doing wonderful, I'm doing excellent. I woke up today. How about you, how you feeling? I'm black and I feel good. Feeling good, you wouldn't see me if I wasn't. I feel like I need reparations now. They locked me up, yes, I could pay the fine, though. 
So we had just been talking about the ways that people police black people's emotions. So I feel like a good way to kick that off is by asking like, who is doing that and how are they actually policing our emotion? My question is who is not doing that, right? Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's a spectrum, right? Um, for me, the policing of emotion starts the minute I wake up, right? The minute I decide to code switch, the minute I get out of my bed and decide, what am I doing today? How should I dress? How should I speak? How should I move? So you're policing right. yourself. Right, yes. right. Okay. You know, sometimes black people police black people. Oh, 100% okay. facts. Yeah. And how do they do that? Yeah. Right. I feel like there is a sector of the internet that has decided that they know what's best for the other sector of the internet. Mm -hmm. And so when we get all in our feelings about like prom send-offs mm -hmm. to Dubai with mm -hmm. camels, mm -hmm. which is really just a mom really excited about her kid going to prom. Yeah, exactly. And start telling her how she should be expressing that joy or her mm -hmm. child should be expressing that joy, that's a problem. I see it there and I saw it with the Popeye's chicken sandwich. True. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people are like, yo, stop acting like a nigga for this chicken sandwich. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I like number one, that <laughs> shit slaps, so I'm gonna just shut the fuck up about that. On the other hand, some people were like, start acting like a nigga. Exactly, exactly. Like, what? Why don't out. you act like a nigga? It's a sandwich. Prescription strength, it be like that sometimes. Are you okay? You're what right? the hell happened? I didn't get the chicken out of the freezer. Um, you go get your ass beat. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. She's gonna kill me. You know what? No. Get the chicken out. Okay. Oh, gross, 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 gross. Well, do you guys police your emotions? I used to be a hostess at a restaurant. There's a lot of oh, like flipping in a dulcet NPR tones to calm down white people. My thing is not knowing where to put my hands when I go places. Like if I'm in the store, do I put them in my pockets? Oh no, people think I'm stealing shit. Like if I, do I take them out of my pockets? No, they'll think I'm getting ready to steal shit. You know, like, so I'm like, what do I do? So I'd like stay home like and fresh direct. <laughs> You're like an emotional Ricky Bobby. Exactly, I'm just like, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> I got this damn date in 30 minutes and I run out of edge control. Shit! Shit, 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 shit. Hi, can I help you? No, I'm good. Thanks. Ooh, I want some snacks. No, 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 I'm going on a date. There's gonna be food there. Maybe I'll get a lint roller. Hi, anything I can help you find? No, thank you. Damn, they're always on me. No, focus, focus. You gotta get your look for the night. Got a date with this dude from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, excuse me, do you work here? No, I don't. Sorry. Why did I say sorry? I don't work here. I've never worked here. I've never worked at a convenience store in my life. Why do I look like I work at a convenience store? Why are these bitches always asking me this shit? I can't even go get no damn edge control. Hi, um, where can I find tampons? But they're like a cup. Oh, I'm sorry, do you work here? No, damn, I am the same black woman. The same black woman from the other aisle when you was asking questions before. Same no, girl, same black woman. Well, excuse me. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> Finally, the black hair aisle. Okay, but why is it locked up, though? All right, let me just get in here real quick. Sneak my dicks out real fast. Nobody's gonna see this shit. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 I don't need to control my edges, I'm out. Hey, it's me, Mr. D. Do you have anyone you want to shout out today? Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. Beyonce don't know you! What are the consequences that you found from trying to police your emotions in that way? I'm not sure if everybody here is familiar with uh, the Eastern Parkway Labor Day Parade. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, All right. Yes. We turn up, we turn oh, yeah. up. We have these things called mass camps, and like mm -hmm. the kids get together, they learn how to play steel pan drum. They're learning about heritage and culture and carnival. And now they're getting phone calls to the police like, <laughs> hey, they should probably stop drumming. It's seven o'clock, right? Yeah. They should probably stop ex having fun down there. We yeah. hear a lot of children 
shut it down. <laughs> like, yeah. that's what's happening. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like that's one example of, you know, how my expression or my culture's expression has been shut down as of late. And it's really been frustrating. I'm just out trying to shake my ass and wear some glitter and feathers. And the police are acting like we're causing a problem. And I'm like, can we just have a good time wearing bright colors? Yeah, but no. apparently not. I feel like it affects my work. You know? yeah. Like, I feel like I'm trying so hard to mitigate other people's feelings about what I about like what they do to me. People act like you're making a political statement by just being yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then best case scenario is you find out they're a lot more uh, tolerant than you thought. And they're just like, oh, I wish you had just told me that sooner. Yeah. Which thankfully has been my experience sometimes at work. But like mm -hmm. in a lot of cases, it feels like, oh, why'd you bring that up? We were in such a good mood. And it's like, bro, I'm not gonna put on a happy face for you just because Y'all feel good. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I police all the time. I was working as a copywriter in corporate America, and I, I realized, as the only black person on my team, that they expected me to bring the blackness and bring the diversity. And blackness looked like a very specific thing to them. So yeah. when my blackness fell outside of that, they were like, but I thought you were gonna be black. And yeah. I'm like, everything I do is black. So oh, yeah. it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's blackness means such a narrow thing to people that when you're more than that, they don't know how to handle it. I was scared to like Paramore and My Chemical Romance growing up. And yeah. Yeah. Black people but, love Paramore. But yeah, yo. <laughs> I felt mad depressed in Ohio because everyone's like, you're not allowed to like this, go like your rap. And I was like, some of this shit don't slap. Bro, I spent so many years pretending not to like anime and then I come out and find out every nigga loves anime. I don't know who's heard of anime blacks. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a, a, a stereotype that black people who like anime are, what adjectives would you use? Oh, uh... Dusty, dusty uh, corny, corny yeah. um, et cetera. Only date white people. Yu-Gi-Oh shirts, yeah, you know, exactly. the tropical ones. Uh -huh. and, and we're much more than that. Anime, black anime fans, we contain multitudes. Meg yes. the Stallion is among us, one of us. Yes. Okay, like we yes. look like no. everything, uh -huh. like come on. And I feel like the internet is so ready to call us ugly that I had to make a thread in which I was like, hey, Black men who love anime, this is not for thirst reasons. Just drop a picture of yourself and your favorite anime, and you Man. dropped one. Mm -hmm. It was a great day for yeah. me. Yeah. Um, we just can be a lot of different types of people. Shit, my movie starts in 20 minutes. Hey, yo, bro, you like hip hop? Got some heat. No, not right now, thanks. All right. But I do, though. Joke's on them. Oh, I forgot I need the uptown lunch. Hey, bro, you like ska? This is straight heat right here. Nigga, who likes Scott? In 2020? Get this weak shit out of here, bro. Namaste. Let me see if the L's running. Hey, 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 where you going? Is that your weed? No, it's not. I just watched you make it pop up as I walk by. Y'all saw that shit, right? Everybody saw that. Yeah, yeah, you, you, saw you, you did you saw that. Yeah, pig. I know you saw it. Y'all saw it. Well, uh, <clears throat> have a good day. Uh, you got a message for your haters out there right now? You know what? I love y'all. Keep up the good work. It's a <laughs> pleasure, guys. I never bother with haters. Don't worry about it. It's not worth it, right? It's not worth it. Love. Love. L-O-V-E. You got any message for your haters out there? Y'all motivate me to do better. <laughs> you stay hating. It's motivating. Are you like me? Nah, I'm not broke. I'm making money and you're not. Forget the haters. Them kiss your ass. Kiss my motherfucking ass. Y'all can never. <laughs> Do y'all hear that? It sounded like period. 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 <laughs> So at what age did you guys really start feeling like you were being policed, like your emotions at least? Man, I, I was a teenage MC, so, you know, we're having the lunchroom ciphers, hitting the clips beat on the lunchroom table, oh, grinding, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. uh -huh. right? And um, we can't the language that was coming out of our mouths was not appropriate for ninth graders, so yeah. I feel uh -huh. like um, that's where some of my joy, you know, was. Mm. Uh, I got the pushback there for mm. some of my black joy. You know, I was in the ciphers, and so I had to leave it in a notebook. Mm. I had to leave it in a studio. I remember when I was a kid, I had the most like stereotypical black movie moment where like my dad's got his hands up, like teaching me how to fight. Yeah. And <laughs> I remember he like accidentally hit me in the eye or something like that. And I was like, I was like not starting to cry, but my mom assumed I was gonna cry and she like grabbed me and she was like, what's, what's wrong with you? And like holding me and all this stuff. And my dad was like, if you do that, he's gonna cry. And I started crying and even in my mind, I was like, I wasn't gonna cry. What the yeah, fuck is yeah, this exactly. shit? But like, is that a challenge? Yeah, yeah, but like in reality, I was like, why the fuck? Why shouldn't I cry? My dad just hit me in my fucking head. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm sad. Yeah. For black women in general, I feel like people have a lot to say about us as we grow up. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of are we doing it too fast? Are we doing it too weird? You know, yeah. people sexualize black girls mm -hmm. at ages where honestly, I'm like, where's my vagina? Like, I didn't know what nothing was, mm -hmm. and people were like, fast. So. 
I feel like people impose a lot of things on children, and it takes a long time as an adult to unteach yourself stuff like that. Listen up. Everyone gets angry, sad, and anxious sometimes. Even me. Do you not see us here? What the f Watch where you're going. I'm not racist, by the way. What the fuck? Excuse me, who raised you? Delicious! Pizza. Thank you so much. Pizza, but um, I, I, I thought. Wait, is is that my phone? Oh yeah, you got three cameras. That's you. I might have picked it. Oh shit! Oh, oh, girl. Girl. oh, oh wow! How was your day? I'm good. And why is there a chicken on the floor? Uh, we all have questions. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it too much. Let's take a seat. You okay. work so hard. So we go way back. We used to be mm -hmm. teachers together. I never asked you back then. What got you into teaching? So. I got into teaching by accident. Initially, I was gonna be a rapper, like a world famous rapper, protege of most deaf and Tyler Kweli. And I was an HBO deaf poet my freshman year. Oh, so good. I did a little bit of that, did some slam champion stuff. Flex. Yeah, just flex. a little flex, right? So what ended up happening was someone said, I really like what you're doing. It's amazing on stage, but it, you know where it would be better? And I'm like, where? And they're like, a classroom. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay, I Don't see know. that. So like as a teacher, have you seen like issues with how we police the behavior like black kids and their emotions and things like that? Absolutely. I've taught in schools where there are policies about students and the noise level when they walk through the hallway. So volume one, volume two, vo what, how do you even you know, know what volume you're on? I've seen it with us uh, suspending students like DeAndre yeah. for having locks, right? Yeah. If, based on antiquated policies. I've seen it with you know a six-year-old girl, Duval County, Florida, yeah. who was arrested and sent to a mental health institution without her mother knowing mm -hmm. and sedated for 48 hours. Can you say it one right? more time, how old is she? So she was six oh, years wow. old. We police student joy, we police student anger. I've seen it in so many ways. And it's it's really, that's what kids do. They yeah. test limits, they push boundaries. Oh, that's 100%. what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, that's crazy, because I went yeah. to a, a white high school and they do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the teachers or the kids? What? Both, <laughs> <laughs> together? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they hang out. It was pretty, it was pretty chill. <laughs> so you're opening a school You've seen a lot. You've seen how things have gone wrong. What are you gonna do differently? So much. I wanna do so yeah. much differently. So I'm currently in an institute. Um, I have a fellowship. So it's Freedom Fellows Institute and they help school founders of color open up high quality schools, okay. right? But my school has a lot of threads that run through it yeah. um, that will be all about students getting a chance to express themselves, yeah. right? You can use student expression as a vehicle for learning. <laughs> we wanna ensure that we are internalizing youth culture at all times, we're internalizing how they talk to one another. Mm. We're internalizing the trends, the current events, and making sure that we are changing our policy, our curriculum, the way that our, our teachers are developed every single day so that we're responsive to student needs. Mm -hmm. 14 million students are in schools without counselors. They're in schools without um, nurses, social workers. And yet all of those schools that hold those 14 million students, they have police officers. We wanna make sure that they have safe spaces to have conversations with a counselor. So we have a program that we're working on now is called Restoring the Village, and it's therapy for all. So mm -hmm. students will have weekly therapy sessions. Um, teachers will have weekly therapy sessions. There will be group therapy for parents, right? Because for me, if a student has an issue, it's not just a student issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an administrator issue, it's a teacher issue, it is a village issue. You know that feeling that it you can't scratch those thoughts that have been running through your head all day then you should try therapy 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 call today we're waiting for you depending on your insurance of course we offer a sliding scale that can fit all income levels So what are some ways that you guys, you know, handle your emotions now? So I found my therapist on therapyforblackgirls.com. Yeah, I love her. She's so great. She's professional. And that's what I do to make sure my emotions are, 
you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. real tight, real, real cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, what you do? Oh, I hang out with black people. Uh, I will say, and this is just because growing up, spending a lot more time around white people, I felt like I was very presentational about my blackness, Muslimness, Africanness. I, not having to explain myself takes so much of my mental energy away, so I can just be myself. So that is my uh, sort of therapy. Oh yeah. Look, I started meditating recently. I did not have health insurance until very recently. Just joined the Writers Guild. Oh, yeah. Now we're there. Look at you. Stepping Good up. Luck. Stepping yeah. up in this America. world. America. You know, I go to the studio. Get some bars in, get some stuff off my chest, you know. So, so that's my form of. When is that dropping now? I mean, you've been spitting mm. bars this whole time. You remember so how I'm to there was like a dichotomy between Erica and River, yeah. like the yeah. rap name and the real name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Erica brings the sad, River yeah. brings the bad, or bring okay. it to the table elements of my swag. Angels okay. to my mission and not just things I bagged. And I won't fly to get mad, superwoman on the rag. Now I menstruate every day, bleeding ink on the pad, making sure the lines is tight, PMSing on the mic. What's up? What's up? Bars, nigga. What? What? You heard it here. Stop All right, that's it for us today, but we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Mike Bloomberg, I'm in your head, boy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, I said don't come through Why you gotta fucking try They say man fucking up Why black boys gotta cry I'm saying yeah I know I'm fly But your boy got some problems I'm in the street I'm thinking how I'm get this shit Popping emotions I stay dropping No I keep it up in And all I gotta think is How the hell I'm gonna win For my family and my kin Once again working hard Like a damn immigrant But I'm such a citizen